Doing great, babe. As we thought about how we'd like to rebuild the back bench, we considered many different orientations, but decided it'd be most logical to keep roughly the same layout as was there before. Three benches, each with a hinged door with storage inside. We had to navigate a mind-bending amount of wires and copper pipe into our structure, so we started by getting those as compact as possible. We were able to notch out the studs to allow the copper pipe and the wires to pass through. Our priority was to keep the weight of our materials as light as possible, but still solid as a rock. We decided to go with 2x3 studs instead of 2x4. You'd be surprised how much a 2x4 weighs in comparison. We love this contour finding gadget. It has helped us with some of the more ridiculous geometry we have encountered in this camper. This angled box is actually covering the pipe that runs through the gas tank, and as luck would have it, it was right where our back stud needed to land. It took me forever to get this cut right, but we got there in the end. And as you might have noticed, Amelia and I have slightly different versions of what we consider work clothes. The fresh water tank will actually go in this back bench, and the other two will be available for storage. Once the dinette table goes in, the top will be removable and lowered onto the bench to create a second sleeping area, about the size of a large full mattress. We had a lot of leftover beadboard from working on the ceiling, so we decided to cut that down and use that as the front paneling of our back bench. And that's pretty much it. Only thing it needs now is cushions on top. We'll show you how we made those in a future episode. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We really appreciate your support. We've got new videos coming out very soon. A lot of stuff is happening in Penelope and it's happening fast. If you haven't subscribed to us already, please do. Just click that little red button and we'll see you next time.